I'm making a soft robotic gripper. It took me a couple of weeks, many iterations, but I made it work. And this is just the beginning. I wrote the comments under my last video and I bought software silicone and mold release. I wanted to compare the new silicone with my last result, so I just used the same mold. I first applied the mold release, then I mixed the new silicone and poured it into the mold. I just pushed the two parts of the mold together and let it solidify. After a few hours I opened the mold and I was really surprised by how well it went. Just kidding, it was so bad I considered throwing it in the trash and starting over. But once I got it out, it was pretty decent. Now I'm gonna make the bottom side. To stop it from expanding, I'm using this shitty orange fabric, because that's all I have. I've mixed some new silicone, I pour it into the grip mold, I've put the fabric onto the silicone, I've poured even more silicone onto the fabric, and then I've just inserted the top piece. Once it was cured, I took it out, added a tube, and it was time to test it out. Alright, this is much better than before. I'm confident I can make a working gripper out of this. This is three weeks later. My laptop died, so I wasn't able to work on any of my projects. I also probably lost all the files as well, so the CNC code, the get models, all of that is probably gone. Yeah, sad times. I've made some changes on the gripper, so before I explain what the fuck I'm doing here, I'm gonna show you the get. Since I had to model the mold again, I used parametric modeling. You input parameters instead of exact dimensions, so I can for example change the number of ribs and it's just gonna update without me having to remodel it. This saves a lot of time, but it's also harder to model. I made the gripper shorter and wider, so it would be easier to bend. I printed the new mold, and I noticed there's some stringing, so to get rid of it, I used a hot air gun from my new soldering station. Previously, I had a problem with the air getting trapped in between the ribs, so I completely removed the top of the mold. That way, when I press the mold into the silicone bath, the air has nowhere to get trapped. By some miracle, I've managed to get it out. When I was casting the grip aside, the silicone started to cure very quickly, which made it challenging to work with. It might be stupid to cure the silicone this quickly, but I don't want to wait a whole day just to make a half of this gripper. Okay, this is nice. This is what I like to see, constant progress. In absolute terms, this is pretty fucking awful, but since my first prototype was so shit, relative to it, this is great. New design. I made the cross section wider and thinner since it helped last time. I've decreased the number of ribs and I made the ribs thicker, so it should be easier to take out. I added air rents at the bottom of the mold. These are just holes. This way I can make the mold from a single piece and I don't have to worry about the air getting trapped in between the ribs. Because of the new design I was able to skim the top of the silicone so I will have a better control of the top thickness. This was the first time I took silicone out of a mold and my fingers didn't hurt afterwards. I finally bought new fabric for the grip side. It's thin, it doesn't stretch, and it's full of these small holes, so it will bond to the silicone well. Oh shit. When I was taking the silicone out, it wasn't solidified completely, so now I had this grease on my fingers that's impossible to wash. I've made a hole in the silicone and inserted a tube to test it out. This reminds me of the octopus inspired Festo gripper. This gripper is great. It works even on its own, but I wanna add two more fingers and make a proper gripper out of it. I have even bigger plans. 
I want to make a 4 degree of freedom robotic arm that will utilize this gripper, so I will be able to move stuff around. For the robotic arm, I will order some PCBs from PCBWay, which is my sponsor. Here I could get away with not using PCBs, because it's a simple circuit. Although if I had used them, this whole ugly circuit would fit onto a little circuit board. And for the robotic arm, I will need the PCBs, because doing it through breadboard would just be insane. So next video I will be designing the pneumatic circuit, the electronics, designing the PCB and ordering it. But if you wanna get some PCBs now, you can check out PCBWay. PCBWay provides PCB assembly, CNC machining, 3D printing and bunch of other stuff. They have a Christmas sale right now and then till January 12th they will have a New Year's sale. But now let's design the full gripper. I'm modeling the new gripper. So I cut out a 120 degree arc from the finger and I just need to copy it two times. Since this is a gripper I want to use for my robotic arm, I need to be able to mount the gripper to the arm. And so I've made this mounting attachment. I'm not sure if this will be strong enough, but I don't have much space to work here because it's so thin. And I wanted to make this simple, like I, I could have designed something better if it was extended upwards. The core sits on a wedge, so it's not touching the airway. Unfortunately, the hole in the middle of this core is too big, so it doesn't sit on the back. I'm gonna have to reprint this. The casting went well. I kind of overestimated how much silicone I was gonna need because the gripper seems to be real big, but most of it is just air slash the mold, so I had a ton of waste. I used the mold as a template to cut out the fabric, and when I was actually casting the grip side, I didn't bother putting any more silicone onto the fabric, because since it has so many holes, I noticed it sucks up the silicone anyway. I don't really have a way to test this, because this center hole isn't made for the tube. It's made for a pneumatic fitting, which I don't have right now. So I'm gonna print some adapter for the tube, because I want to test this out now. I think the adapter connects the tube to the gripper wall, but the core doesn't provide any seal. So I'm gonna use the adapter to seal off the core by connecting the silicone ring from the adapter to the gripper itself. When I tighten the bolts, the plastic pieces get closer to each other and this squishes the silicone out but instead of clamping the tube, it just pushes it out. So I'm gonna print a second adapter for this adapter that is gonna provide a better seal. This second adapter worked so well that I even let out an audible reaction. <laughs> I've made a second version of the second adapter and it was still trash. I have to take the loss. I'm gonna take out this adapter and just fill it with silicone. Let's leave this graphite paint. Okay, probably not the best shape. I bet it will be easier to grab when it's on its side. Still not as good as I hoped for, I'm gonna try a different object. Not as versatile as I hoped for, but who would need to grip VR goggles anyway? Now this is just perfect. This gripper is honestly kind of trash. 
I can't mount it onto anything and some of the ribs snapped off because I haven't put silicone on top of the fabric so it didn't bond well. I have an idea of how I'm gonna face the mounting issue but I'll have to remake this gripper. Next video I'm gonna design a robotic arm for this gripper and that should come out soon because I have the components picked I just need to finish designing the PCB.